Welcome back guys, so FSR3 source code was published a week ago allowing game developers and modders to implement a technology in many games. A few days ago, official FSR3 support was added to Like a Dragon, the man who erased his name. And now we have an FSR3 frame generation mod developed by Nukem9. This mod allows people to use FSR3 frame generation in many games that support DLSS frame generation. It basically replaces it. Now DLSS frame generation is limited to RTX 40 series GPUs only. This is not the case with FSR3 frame generation. It works on all of the RTX GPUs. You need to have an RTX GPU in order to use this mod. Even RTX 20 series GPUs will work. This is the biggest advantage of FSR3 frame generation over DLSS frame generation. But even this technology won't work with GPUs from GTX series and the older AMD contemporaries of them. FSR frame generation basically doubles our FPS by adding interpolated frames. AMD recommends using this technology in games that are running at at least or higher than 60 FPS in order to avoid graphical artifacts and keep the input delay manageable. The objective is to max out the high refresh rate displays. At the moment, this mod is in early stages. Experience will vary from game to game. It has been confirmed to work with Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077. I'll be testing it in the latter. My Windows PC has RTX 2070 Super GPU and Ryzen 3700X processor. We'll be using version 0.3 of the mod. You can download it for free from GitHub. I'll drop its link in the description. Keep an eye out on the new versions of the mod. It will include game related fixes. For example, 0.3 version includes fixes for numerous game crashes. Example, Starfield. For Cyberpunk 2077, I'll just download this zip file, DLSS G2 FSR3. If you're using Cyber Engine Tweaks, download the first archive file. I'm not using them. I'll download this second file. There's the archive file that we just downloaded. Open it, extract its contents. This is the readme file. I'll be following these instructions. dbg help.dll file is already present in the install directory of cyberpunk. So make sure you create a backup of it before overwriting it. Copy these two dll files. We just need to transfer them to the install directory of cyberpunk. Open your steam library, find the game. Right click on it. Go to manage, click on browse local files. This will open the game's install directory. Open bin folder. Open x64 folder. We need to paste the DLL files here where the game's exe file is present. Override. We are done here. Just make sure your RTX GPU is running on the latest NVIDIA GPU drivers. You also need to make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled. Access the setting from display settings. Right click in the desktop. Click on display settings, click on graphics, click on change default graphics settings, enable the toggle under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, that's it. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel, just search for NVIDIA control panel. Global settings can be accessed from this tab, scroll down, vSync. Set it to on. Per game profiles can also be created. Just click on program settings. Search for the game's exe file for which you want to create the profile, Cyberpunk in my case. Scroll down and make sure vSync is enabled. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Play. If you have done everything correctly, this message will pop up DLSS G2 FSR3 is loaded. FSR3 frame generation will replace NVIDIA frame generation. Click on OK. First, we have video settings. You need to make sure in-game vSync is disabled as we have already enabled it from NVIDIA's control panel. vSync helps in reducing screen tearing. Resolution set to Full HD. First, I'll run the game using Ultra Preset. Switch to DLSS. Quality Preset. I have access to DLSS frame generation. It's basically FSR3 frame generation. Won't be enabling it now. Apply the settings. So first I'll run the game without frame generation. This is the opening sequence of Night City. I am right outside V's apartment. Here FPS is around 60. Just observe these papers. After I enable frame generation, 
there will be some graphical artifacts these papers won't be rendered properly so 57 to 60 fps here DLSS frame generation enabled DLSS upscaler set to quality apply ok so with frame generation setting enabled my FPS increased up to 110 this is insane FPS value almost got doubled now I look for some graphical artifacts and there you go papers are not rendered properly you can see so some graphical artifacts will be present when you use this technology I am looking for some more graphical issues let me just observe the character models yeah, they are rendered properly here not observing any input delay controls are responsive oh the game looks gorgeous it's running very smoothly not observing any screen tearing as well I'll engage in combat now hijack the vehicle All units in the area. let's go for a ride reported in Watson 331 responding on my way dispatch but only this like game looks gorgeous even without ray tracing so very impressed with the implementation of FSR3 frame generation some minor graphical artifacts are present but the performance games are just insane okay now i'll just try to enable ray tracing this mod gives us access to dlss ray reconstruction just enable it enable a few of the ray tracing features first three apply yeah FPS dropped down to 80 not bad game is still playable as expected enabling ray tracing dropped the FPS considerably I can also enable path tracing in its description it's mentioned that this setting requires at least a geforce rtx 4070 titan or rtx 3090 let's enable it game may crash apply fps here dropped down to 36 game still playable so this is very impressive this setting is just too much for rtx 2070 super gpu but good to see fsr3 frame generation mod working I'll end the video here guys, I hope you found it useful, thanks for watching and have a nice day.